please take out your journal and name this moment in your life. Like, what are you facing right now in your life? So, for example, I'm bored. I need a close group of, group of friends to explore life with. Or I'm trying to grow my business. I'm looking for a place to live. I'm healing from addiction. I can't control my cravings. So write, I am, and then fill in the blank with what you're experiencing right now. Okay, you're going to replace the word I with the word God. So you can also use, you can use, say, my angels or source. And so you would write, God is, and then fill in the blank with what God is experiencing in your life right now. And use the words we and us. So, for example, God's bored and needs us to have a close group of friends. Or God is trying to grow our business. God is looking for a place for us to live. So God is in this moment with you, doing this with you. So there's you and God. You're both living through this moment in your life. You can't think about just yourself. You have to think about God as well. At every moment that you're bored, stuck, or stressed, God is next to you trying to connect to the child within you. Because the child within you knows how to attract good things to your life. Imagine God as a child if God were looking for close friends, he wouldn't just want a group of close friends because you've had that before and some of them got jealous. And if God were trying to grow his business, he wouldn't just want to grow your business because you also had that before and you ended up, you know, closing your business. And if God were looking for a place to live, he just wouldn't, he wouldn't just want to live anywhere because you've had that before, you know, and you were evicted. So you as the adult, as you are now, you want too little. You just want to survive, but God, the child within you, wants to thrive, to blossom, not just to live, but to feel alive. And the Chinese word for crisis is a combination of the word danger plus opportunity. The adult within you is experiencing danger. The child within you, who's just like God, is experiencing the opportunity. You're thinking, I'm in danger. God's thinking, I'm in an opportunity. Now, remember how you thought as a child. Like when you saw a bucket, you didn't think, okay, trash. You thought, it's a hat. It's a drum. It's a table. So that's how God is looking at this moment in your life, as an opportunity for a whole bunch of good things to happen to the both of you, because he's in it too. He wants the good stuff. So therefore, God doesn't just want a solution for your problem. He wants an opportunity. And you're thinking, God, <laughs> okay, let's just try to get by. And God is thinking, it's the same thing. God is thinking, when you were first learning how to walk, you didn't just walk. I noticed you were also trying to dance and jump and fly and twirling and swimming. Like walking is the same thing as dancing which is the same thing as jumping, which is the same thing as flying, which is the same thing as swimming. And God in your head right now is telling you, I don't just want to walk, I want to dance. And you're thinking, I can't even walk, how can I dance? <laughs> and God is telling you, it's the same thing. How could you have known this when you were one years old? And now that you're an adult, you suddenly forgot that walking is dancing, danger is opportunity. And every time you let me live your life with you, we don't just get one thing, we get everything. When you do it yourself without me, you always only, only just go and get one thing. And baby, it's never enough. Do it with God, your life opens up. Open your life. Don't just solve a problem so you can close a door. Open more doors. Open up your life. No one in your life 
as looking at you and seeing just one thing or one problem that you solve for them. When someone is looking for a wife or a husband, they just scour the dating apps and say, okay, who's ever single, you're available, I'm available, let's get married. No, they want chemistry, they want life goals, they want to build a dream together, they want, they want it all. Same with your life. God does not see your life or you as a problem to be solved. You are not a problem. You're an opportunity. And God is looking at you like he looks at a gold mine. And some of the gold in there is raw and is dirty, but it needs to be refined through purifying it through the fires of life experience, but is still gold. God doesn't just want a solution to your problems. God wants an opportunity to experience what? And write this in your journal. So for example, God doesn't just want a close group of friends. God wants soulmates to travel the world with. God doesn't just want to grow my business. God wants clients who want to invest in my business and take it to a whole nother level. God doesn't just want to find a new place for us to live. God wants us to have a community. Even if it's difficult, it will force me to have the discipline and focus to get my college degree. And therefore, God wants me to live in a home shared by victims of domestic violence where I can get the support to build my life and heal my wounds. Why? Because I want to get custody of my son back. God wants me to have a happy, healthy family, not just a roof over my head. Be more, be willing to be more, because the child within you never stopped dreaming. The adult you are now thinks that, you okay, let's just try to survive and then we'll go after our dreams. The child within you, who is best friends with God, knows that surviving is the exact same thing as dreaming. It's the same thing, danger is the same as opportunity, it's the same thing. You open one door, my door might as well be the door to everything in your life, not just one thing. So go ahead and finish this in your journal, that God doesn't just want the solution to your problems. God wants what? What does he want? And so if you're absolutely stumped on this one, I'll give you a hint. It's always some form of happiness. God doesn't just want to solve your problem. God wants to be happy. And what would make God, the child within you, happy with this situation? So go ahead and write in your journal, what would make God happy if God didn't just get and just transfer exactly what you just wrote onto here, that solution. God also got an opportunity to experience and then transfer exactly what you just wrote into this blank space.